Devil Fruits are the greatest power in the One Piece world. Their users are gifted with superpowers beyond imagination. Welcome to Slim Fuji's Top 5 Best Devil Fruits. Number 5. Tori Tori Nomi, Model, Phoenix. Marco's life was changed forever when he ate this mythical Zolan Devil Fruit and became the immortal Phoenix incarnate. His exploits since that day have cemented his place atop the One Piece world. Marco is one of the strongest fighters in the story and was Whitebeard's right-hand man. His strength is largely owed to the powers of this Devil Fruit, a fixture of the battlefield, protected by the Guardian Angel of Unlimited Regeneration. Flying menacingly above, torn flesh decorating his razor talons. Seeing Marco as your foe is any pirate's worst nightmare. Mythical's Owens are the rarest and most powerful Devil Fruits. But the main reason for the Phoenix Fruits inclusion on this list is yet to come. We'll learn this important point later on. So make sure to watch the whole video until the very end to find out for yourself. Number 4. Guru Guru Nomi. The Yonko Whitebeard was the owner of this paramecia type devil fruit when the story began. Blackbeard stole this fruit from him when he died at the Marine Ford War. The user has the ability to control the power of earthquakes. This fruit is so strong that it is stated to be able to destroy the entire world. The fourth best fruit on our list can destroy the world. Think about that for a second. This proves just how broken devil fruit powers actually are. We have only had a taste of what this fruit is truly capable of, yet it's already one of the most terrifying we've seen. In the wrong hands, this fruit can ruin entire nations or even humanity itself. Blackbeard understood the true power of this fruit. That's precisely why he went to such extremes to claim it for himself. Seeing Blackbeard go all out with this fruit is going to be a milestone moment. It's hard to think about the power of devil fruits without having Blackbeard in the back of your mind. Will this be his final appearance on this list? Keep watching to find out. Number 3. Opie Opie Nomi. Trafalgar D. Water Law is the owner of this paramecia type devil fruit. The user has control over an operating room that they create. On its own, this does not sound like a very OP power to have, but this fruit definitely lives up to its name and its hype. It is one of the most OP fruits Oda has ever dreamed of. Law is able to summon a room that surrounds an entire area under his control. He gains control over any and everything within this room. Even a short list of his many feats is almost too overwhelming to comprehend. He's performed surgery at the atomic level. He's switched out people's hearts and personalities with each other. He's transplanted animal body parts into humans. He's cut an entire island in half. And he's even used his awakening powers to defeat the Yonko Big Mom. This brief list of Law's many accomplishments demonstrates just how powerful this fruit truly is. Law is one of the greatest doctors and smartest people in the One Piece world. This allows him to maximize the potential of his fruits even more. The Opie Opie Nomi is referred to in the story as the ultimate devil fruit. Law has proven that this hype is fully justified. It's time to give a shout out to some honorable mention close calls. These fruits also have world breaking powers. They may appear on this list. One soda shows us more of their feats later in the story. Honorable mention number three, Soru Soru Nomi. Big Mom is the current owner of this paramecia type devil fruit. In a crazed hunger attack, at the age of five, she gained this power from her foster mother, the evil slave trader nun, Mother Carmel, by eating her whole. This devil fruit grants the user control over souls and soul focus. Manipulating and stealing other people's souls is the main power of this devil fruit. Big Mom is able to steal all, or parts, of another person's soul. The stolen soul can be implanted into an inanimate object or even an animal, creating an obedient sentient slave. She has used this power to create living sentinels, informants to the happenings of her top land kingdom. She also created a sentient sun, thundercloud, and hat sword. These creatures became the primary weapon she fights with, outside of her bare fists. Big Mom is one of the most terrifying monsters of the One Piece world. The Soru Soru Nomi contributes greatly to her terrifying powers and abilities. Honorable mention number two, Duo Onomi, model, Seryu. Becoming the literal incarnation of the mythical Azure Dragon, decades ago, when he ate this mythical zone type devil fruit, was the most important moment in Kaido's life. He owes a life debt to Big Mom to this day for being the one who gave him this fruit back then. Momo is also a user of this amazing power. While on Punk Hazard, Momo ate an artificial version of this fruit, derived from Kaido's slinage factor by the world's greatest scientist, Dr. Vegapunk. Kaido's dragon form is blue and Momo's is pink. The hallmark of this fruit strength is the near-impenetrable dragon scales covering the user's whole body. 
Another useful ability is simulated flight. It's made possible by walking on magical dragon clouds, created and manipulated by the user's will. These powerful clouds can even float an entire island. Kaido also gained fire breath from eating this fruit. This fruit has a hybrid form combining the strength of Kaido's base and dragon forms. It's safe to assume Kaido has awakened his devil fruit. Otherwise, he's basically limited to the same move set as Momo, who has virtually no experience as a devil fruit user. We'll soon see Kaido's full awakened powers, and that may rocket this fruit up the list. Honorable mention number one, Pika Pikanomi. Marine Admiral Kizaru is the owner of this Logia Devil Fruit. This Devil Fruit transforms its user into the element of light. Logia Devil Fruits are the overall strongest class of Devil Fruits. A random Logia Fruit grants more power than a random Zoin or Paramecia type does. The Pika Pikanomi is arguably the strongest Logia Devil Fruit in existence. Kizaru has the power to turn himself into light, allowing attacks to pass right through him. He can dodge and attack at the speed of light, increasing his damage capability and fighting prowess. Creating a lightsaber-style sword in his fight against Dark King Lele is another ability of this fruit. On top of all that, his fingertips can shoot laser beams that annihilate anything they touch. A Logia Devil Fruit with powers this extreme definitely deserves consideration for this list. Now, we can continue with the top two best Devil Fruits in one piece. Number two, Yami Yami Nomi. The Yonko Blackbeard is the current owner of this Paramecia-type Devil Fruit. The user of this fruit becomes the element of darkness. It is a unique Devil Fruit amongst all the other Logia Devil Fruits because Blackbeard does not get the power of intangibility from this fruit. The pain and damage the user receives from enemy attacks is also greatly increased. This sounds like a horrible deal, so why is it considered such an amazing Devil Fruit? The reason is that it has one Super Hacks ability, and this ability arguably puts it above all other Devil Fruits in one piece. The Yami Yami Nomi allows the user to cancel out and nullify the Devil Fruit powers of any other person he touches. And it's arguable that when Blackbeard finally awakens this fruit, he will be able to nullify any Devil Fruit power in his vicinity without even having to touch its user. Darkness World will be the most broken ability in the entire series. There are also other powers available to the user of this fruit. Blackbeard is able to suck in anything he wants with his black hole power. He can then shoot it back out with his equal and opposite liberation power. There exists one power of this fruit that is still unconfirmed. The power for the user to consume multiple devil fruits. After eating this fruit, Blackbeard killed his former captain, Whitebeard, and was able to steal his Guru Guru Nomi, devil fruit for himself. Blackbeard originally got the power of the Yami Yami Nomi by murdering Thatch, his former commander on Whitebeard's crew, and stealing the fruit from him. It makes narrative sense for Blackbeard to get all of his devil fruit powers by killing his former crewmates and stealing their fruits. He killed Thatch to get the darkness fruit, he killed Whitebeard to get the earthquake fruit, and he will end up killing Marco to get the phoenix fruit. Blackbeard only seeks the best and strongest of everything. If he actually does take the phoenix fruit for himself, that will prove the power of the fruit and validate its place on this list. Blackbeard would have the power of the fifth, fourth, and second best devil fruits all within himself at the same time. Truly a terrifying monster, worthy of being the final boss of One Piece. We finally reached the last stop on our list. Number one, Gamu Gamu Nomi. I'm just messing with you guys. The actual number one, Hito Hito Nomi, motto, Biku. The main character Monkey D. Luffy is the current owner of this mythical Zoten type devil fruit. This devil fruit grants its user the ability to become the embodiment of the sun god of One Piece, who is known as Nika. As soon as a person eats the Nika fruit, they become a rubber human. When Luffy ate this fruit in chapter one, his limbs immediately became rubbery. He was able to stretch to lengths that are normally impossible. But this fruit also has a secret side. It grants its user the ability to use their rubbery body in whatever manner they can imagine. Their imagination is the only limit on their power while they battle enemies. The more creative the user is, the more powerful the fruit becomes. Luffy is probably the most creative person in One Piece, so he was able to maximize this power. The abilities granted to him by his imagination include Gear 2, Gear 3, and Gear 4. It also includes his various named attacks such as Gamu Gamu no Pistol, Gamu Gamu no Balloon, and the extremely powerful King Kong gun. But the real power of the fruit only comes out once the user awakens it. Luffy awakened his fruit, unlocking Gear 5, when Kaido smashed and killed him after the CP0 guy interfered with their fight. Awakening this fruit allows Luffy to essentially unlock a Toon Force-like power. 
Our main character has literally become a Looney Tunes level gag character at this point. The Edgelord Gear 5 was denied. Long live the chat tune god. Luffy can rubberize anything in his vicinity, including other people. He can cause characters' eyes to burst out of their heads like Bugs Bunny. And he can even turn himself into a full-size giant, which let him use Kaido like a jump rope. We have only scratched the surface of the true power of the awakened Hito Hito Nomi. Motto, Nika. But I guarantee that Oda has even more amazing things in store for us, related to Luffy's new power. The only limit on Gear 5 is Oda's imagination. And at this point, we all know that Oda's imagination has no limits. He may be the only person, more creative than his iconic main character, Monkey D. Luffy. The Devil Fruit, formerly known as the Gamu Gamu Nomi, is easily the best Devil Fruit in One Piece. These five Devil Fruits are the best Devil Fruits in One Piece. The award for the best obviously goes to Luffy's Hito Hito Nomi, Mato, Niku. One Piece is an amazing story, containing many amazing things that need to be ranked. So check out this other top five list now, right here, to find out what's actually number one in One Piece. Thanks again. Fuji out.